It is only Tuesday, but already so far this week, three people have lost their lives to violence here in Albuquerque. Yeah, and so far, 2024 is looking a lot like 2023 as far as homicides in the metro. Jacqueline Aragon breaks down new information from these most recent homicides. Three homicides in two days. That's the headline tonight in Albuquerque. So far this year, there have been 12 homicide victims. We've checked, and that's compared to the 13 last year. The latest happened Tuesday morning on Graceland Drive. That's near Central and Zuni. A shot spotter activation led police to the scene. They found two people dead inside a home, and officers are investigating this as a murder-suicide. We also have more information on a deadly shooting in the Northeast yesterday afternoon near Louisiana and San Antonio. Police say Nathan Sheckler shot and killed his older brother, Travis, after a fight. According to the criminal complaint, their mother told police that Travis grabbed Nathan by the neck and started punching him. That's when their mother says Nathan grabbed a rifle and shot his brother. Police say Nathan checked to see if his brother was okay and told his mother to call 911 before he took off. According to court documents, their mother told officers she knew Nathan had a rifle but did not know where it was. She also told police Travis was schizophrenic and had a drug problem. This was the second time in three days APD responded to this house. This past Saturday, police say they got a call about Travis instigating a fight. Tonight, Nathan Sheckler is in jail and police arrested him at the Siegel Suites Motel. He is charged with murder. Jacqueline Aragon, KOB4.